Hello everybody, this afternoon I will spend some time on my drop test tower. I will do some dynamic tests with semi-static ropes. What many people do not know is that in the standard for these ropes, often called static ropes, but they are not static, they are semi-static, that in the standard um, these ropes have to pass dynamic tests, two kinds of dynamic tests. Some of them are older than, I would guess, some of you guys. We start with an unused rope directly from the spool. It's from 2007. It's actually new, but the manual says destroy it. One of the reasons that is said is that the dynamic performance disappears. And this is what I would like to test now. I will attach the rope to this 100 kilo weight this is a magnetic release device the other side is attached to the scale the first test is about to lift it up 60 centimeters and then release it and measure the force in the rope. Three, two, one. And now comes the drop test. Two meters factor one. Three, two, one. This is a very hard test. A brand new rope has to pass five of these falls. We will now see how many falls it can perform until it breaks. So here is a good news and a bad news. Uh, this rope would have passed the test required by the standard, the dynamic tests. The bad news is, according to the manual, it should have been destroyed about two years ago. But it's perfectly fit for use. That makes me a little bit sad. So now let's take an older rope. This is from the same company, 2003. Peak performance. Yeah, way below five kilonewton. That's fine. Second rope. Also this rope passed both tests. Unfortunately, I do not have unused older ropes, but let's take this one. This, how old it is, I don't know. It has no marking inside the core, so I'm pretty sure that it was produced before the norm. Um, I installed it 20 years ago as a ascending rope in the ropes course. It served 20 years for climbing up, rappelling down, and it hung in the sun day, every day. It's really difficult to make a knot in the rope. It's so stiff. So let's see how it performs the peak test. I'm pretty sure that the knots will take all the energy. That's why I will do it 
two times. So the first drop is only to tighten the knots. This number counts 3.6 kilonewton. The knots swallowed all the energy. That's why I will do the test now a second time. So the peak was 4 kilonewton. And now we'll see if it passes the drop test. So the peak was now 11 kilonewton. We are getting closer to the breaking strength, static breaking strength of this rope, which is 25 years old minimum. It's amazing. This extremely stiff old rope, I would guess minimum 25 years old, but for sure older than 20 years, it would still pass the norm tests. How about if we take out this sentence from the manuals? I do not know any reason to have a lifespan counted by years.